In today's episode, I want to show you how to kind of multiply all the markups real quick. This is a very simple concept, but most people don't use it. But actually, it's going to save a lot and lots of time when you guys creating markups on Bluebeam. So let's start with this drawing that I have. I want to say that all of these bays, I want to create a markup that all of these beams is going to shift like some couple of feet. So I want to go to my marker. Um, I want to hold it over here. And then if you hold shift, it's going to go straight. You see, it's going to go a little bit. So if I don't hold shift, it's going to be hard to do it. So what I'm going to do, uh, basically, let me delete this one real quick. And then this. Uh, just make sure if you want to draw something straight, just hold shift. So I'm holding shift and no matter where I'm going, it basically straight. So I'm going to tell everybody that this beam is going to move from this side to this side. And if I want to know how much is going to move, basically I want to make sure it's calibrated. So I am already scaled. Um, I'm going to hit here. I want to go basically from here to here and that's going to be the dimension and I wanted to get the base that I have. So this one to this one, let's say is 10 feet, three, five. So I'm going to tell everybody that all of these is going to shift uh, two foot, three and eight. So what I'm going to do, the best way is so I'm going to select these beam, right click and go to multiply. So it's going to open up a box for me. It's going to tell me what direction you want to create a multiply. So I'm going to say I want to do right, left, up and down. So let's say I want to go this way. That's going to be right. The distance. So how, what's going to be? So it's going to be 10 feet, three, five, eight. So I want to put 10 feet, three, five, eight inch. And this is going to be the unit. If you're using a different unit, you can select that. And also you can see the scaled. So it goes correct. Uh, and then also uh, the copy. So how many copies you want to create from this? So let's say I want to do three, four, five, whatever. If you want to see a preview of this, it's really, really easy. So I can double uh, check that box. You see how it shows to me like exactly the movement and give me the number of it. And if I even uh, kind of do the copies, make it two, three or four, it basically shows exactly how it is. And you see how fast I am moving this. So if I go to left, it just basically move it to the left. Um, if I go up, it's basically it's going up. But right now we want to show everything on the right. So I'm going to hit OK. There you go all the dimension are moved everything dimension everything skilled and really quick creating all of those and you can do the same thing with the dimension so if i want to do this i'm going to right click multiply same thing right so i have my preview box check and i put 10 feet three five eight and then um, as soon as I kind of uh, create uh, uh, basically the numbers, you can see how it basically shows all of those items that I have over here uh, basically show it to me. So I know right now from here to here is two foot three inches. I want to move this right there and it exactly shows it over there, like exactly what I wanted to put all of that. So this is going to be a fastest way to create markups on your drawing. This is a very good way that you can save time. If you have multiple drawing, you want to show a different stuff on the civil um, or on the architectural, anything that is going to move instead of just copy and paste copy and paste one by one you can multiply but uh, anything that you want you just need to uh, basically identify the direction plus the distance that you want to multiply that markup hope that you guys enjoyed today's short video if you like the content please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching